Our first story is a happy one. The waste transfer station that has been an eyesore and a nose sore <laughs> has been taken down. Kami Woods has more. <laughs> At the end of October, a wall-breaking ceremony was held to celebrate the demolition of Brick Bottom's waste transfer station near the McGrath Highway. The event was joined by the mayor and a few friends who are notorious for their destructive habits, like Wreck-It Ralph. I want to welcome you all to what will form, be the former site of the incinerator and transfer station in about 24 hours as we begin taking a wrecking ball to this um, somewhat of an iconic relic of our urban past, but nothing about the future. So um, you know, quick, someone give me a sledgehammer now because I'd love to bring this monstrosity down myself as we speak. The structure has been in Somerville for five decades and is considered an eyesore. It was originally built as an incinerator, which caused environmental problems for local residents. Well, growing up in the neighborhood, um, I remember that the incinerator really didn't have the, the appropriate um, waste uh, removal devices, for instance, scrubbers. There used to be a huge smokestack there that would burn, and there were no scrubbers in it. So basically, you would see burning paper. If the air conditions were right, you'd see it. there literally would be little pieces of burning trash like being blown in the wind throughout the neighborhood. As a lot of the folks called it, it was sort of some of those Mount Vesuvius. Herb Chambers, who owns the Mercedes-Benz dealership next door, also attended the ceremony. Uh, I purchased that facility there about 21 years ago. And uh, for the last 21 years, we've been complaining to the mayor about the smell and flies and rats and everything else that go with a facility like this. And we have a major investment next door, and we're so thrilled to see this thing go away. Located right next to the highway, this area is known as the Gateway to Somerville. That means the waste transfer station is one of the first buildings that visitors see. You had slaughterhouses on the other side of the highway and you had, you know, an incinerator here. So naturally it was not, you know, an inviting entry to the city. And we're working on changing that. We've been thinking about this for years and years and years. And um, the mayor's done great work to make it happen. And uh, I think the community is ready to step in and help make something happen here in this space. The demolition of this waste transfer station is only one of the many changes bringing new life into Somerville. Reporting for Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Kami Wood.